This is Furious Gaming HQ back with another video. Today we're going to be doing some basics of Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone. This edition is being done in version 16.0 with uh, including pistons, pistons, redstone blocks, repeaters, comparators, and a lot more. This is only the part one of this video, so let's get started. So, um, right here. One redstone torch will only carry a 15 block powered signal. Then it goes dead and does not activate the object at the end of the cord. But if I were to put this right here, as you see, it, it's it's only six it's only 15 blocks. Next up, how can you extend the signal with this thing called a repeater? This repeater here is set to one tick and pretty much what it does is um it sends the it repeats a fresh signal until it dies way over here now remember how i said one tick that is 20 it is 1 25th of a second until the signal for the signal to be repeated so right here we have an example it um we have an example, it shows all of these are set to 4 ticks, which is exactly 1 second. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then it powers the piston and also shuts off. We're going to be talking about little power sources here. So, here we have a redstone torch, a pressure plate, a weighted pressure plate, a redstone block and a lever we also will need a daylight center sensor I'm sorry a daylight sensor and a tripwire hook all of these generate a redstone signal okay that's a lot of options but they all have a different function this here is one of the most commonly used redstone materials. It's called the redstone torch. Next to that is redstone dust here that extends the signal to wherever you want it to go. To this slime block or to this dropper. That tick means it just was fired. Next you have this stone pressure plate. Okay, what this does is, as long as you're standing on it, it sends a signal. But when you step off, nope, not anymore. This signal will go almost as long as the redstone torch. I think it's actually five, uh, it's 15. 15 is the length, the signal strength. That's how far it will go. Next is the weighted pressure plate. What this weighted pressure plate there's a gold weighted pressure plate which is for light objects and a white pressure plate for heavy and the density will be located if you search density of objects in minecraft what's that that is not heavy enough and so it's not activating the signal if i was to throw another lever my mistake i'm sorry another lever maybe some string and even a tripwire hook you see, all these things are light density. That's why they're not triggering anything. But if I threw, one second, a dropper, see, not even any, none of these things will activate it. See, all these things are not heavy. They won't even like nothing will happen. If you stand on it, you were considered heavy, and you will permit a very small, this block here is the only block activated. So, the heavier the object, the longer the signal. Next is this redstone block. It is like a redstone torch, but it has four sides. 
so let's say I want to add, I want to activate a dropper here, a dropper here, and a dropper here. This would be your job. That would be the block for it. So after that, we come to this lever. Now the lever is the very most commonly used redstone uh, piece, and it also is sends out the same amount of a signal of a redstone torch, and it's on and off. Next, we have a slime block, or a tripwire hook on the slime block. Pretty much what this does is you set wire and string in between the tripwire and when you step on it it'll send a signal as you see to the rest to fire something or to open something or whatever you need it to do next is one of my favorites the daylight sensor now what this does is very efficient for lighting in houses and really what it does is it's it's just um used for sensing whether it's day or night so I'm setting it to night, and when it's nighttime, it will turn on. But when it's daytime, it will turn off. That's that's how that's what I have it set to. But if I was to change it, at nighttime it's off, and on daytime it's on. So that's that's that. Oh, over here, right here, like I was talking to you about the redstone block. Really, it fires pistons. It can fire pistons, which push objects. As you can see, I have quite a few blocks here. And what this is, this is 12 blocks. And the piston can only push 12, so it's 13. It's one over the limit. But if I was to remove this, you see it would it would move until I add it. So then I can break it again. Put back. It, it, it won't push the whole mass, is what I'm trying to get to. Next. Pistons will not push the redstone block, the bedrock, or obsidian. So you have to have other designs to fit your needs because these simply just won't work. They are something called too heavy because they're a density to each object in Minecraft. These are too heavy to be pushed by pistons. Uh, here we go. We have an example of what a repeater would be used for to repeat the signal or to move it somewhere else. Here we got two, one blocks and two blocks, but this one has way too many, so it can't push up. It doesn't push in any direction because that's way too many. So over here, oh man, okay. Here is a redstone mound with more pistons than I can count. Every piston that is touching redstone on either side will be extended, while the other ones that are on top of those pistons, like this here and this here, aren't going to extend because the redstone si signal only goes into that one block and it doesn't conti continue to carry through. That is the redstone basics that you should know if you're going to start building with redstone. Thank you for watching FGHQ. This is Furious Gaming HQ reporting. Thank you very much. FGHQ out.